eyes of the once respected charity and the loss of 23 jobs. But another charitable initiative has risen in its place, one giving hope to local residents in need of a helping hand. Sunderland and 24-year-old Sarah Robson has suffered from agoraphobia, a condition which has a debilitating effect on her life. I left work because of my mental health. I was stuck at home, I didn't have anyone to go and see, I had nothing to do. Uh, and that's when I started to get panic attacks. It's difficult to put it into words. Um, but it ruins your life. It really ruins your life. It took a local arts charitable initiative to help reintroduce Sarah to the outside world. MBC Arts Wellbeing was founded by Mark Burns Castle. Hello, Hiya. how are you? All right, hello. You? An organisation Sarah credits with turning her life around. Do you want to come on through? Yeah, definitely. The charitable organisation specialises in delivering free community arts programmes, including regular pottery classes. Everyone, this is uh, Sarah. Hello. 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 Sarah. Hiya. She's going to come and join us for a bit and get some uh, clear work done. Sarah used to be one of our learners. When Sarah first joined us, actually, um, she was, well, like a different person. You know, really, really timid, very shy. Um, and it took you quite a, quite a while, quite really, a while. didn't it, to, yeah. to even talk about anything at all. What's the fact that you don't have to talk? You don't have it's to talk? Yeah. You know, yeah. you can have uh, be in a community and be silent. And like Sarah, this group gets more out of these classes than just improving their art skills. A lady ploughed into me with her car 29 years ago while I was cycling in the Lake Districts and I broke my spine. Oh, so no. I'm in constant pain all the time. You will make friends with everyone here. Mm -hmm. I've made friends with the people I work with. It's amazing. You should have an award or a cover. I'll have a cover, I'll have that. MBC Arts took over the former premises of Team Wearside, the charity which was forced to close due to a £450,000 scam. Team Wearside were really quite well established. They, you know, they had a board of trustees, they had some really big contracts, they had five properties on this street. That's, that's huge for a local education charity, that, that's really big. And yet, actually, because of the actions of two or three people somewhere near the top, the whole thing came down. That, to me, just demonstrates the vulnerability of any organisation to, um, to anyone who might come into that with, with anything other than, than good intentions. Since moving into the premises, MBC Arts has helped locals and artists alike by reinvesting all of its profits back into this great initiative. The hub also offers affordable rental space to the likes of blacksmith Darren Whitty. If it wasn't for MBC, I don't, well, I'd possibly be able to get a shop, but it wouldn't be anywhere near like this. Um, and I'd quite possibly not be able to continue to fund it. Um, so although I may be able to get a place elsewhere, it would probably be just for a very short time. They have expansion plans to enable them to reach an even wider community and in the process, turn around more lives. We've all did this ourselves as well, each one of us sitting here now. We've all put that, you know, first foot forward and we've all decided, no, I'm not going to live that life anymore. I deserve better. And we should all be really proud of ourselves as well, each one of us. What a brilliant initiative. Now, have you written a will? And if you have, are you hoping to pass on something to your favourite cause? Well, over the course of the series, we've highlighted the work of some amazing charities. The good news is that more and more of us are choosing to leave something from our estate to such great causes. 